Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela here. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Click the button below. Um, I share my reviews, tutorials, and all this fun stuff that I love. So um, let me get started. Today I will be doing my lipstick haul. I have been waiting to wear some of these lipsticks. Um, they are new lipsticks for me and um, I'm really excited to try um, some of them because I've not even tried some of them yet. So let me jump right into it right now. So first I'm going to start off with my melted lipsticks that I got in my um, Sephora uh, picks. I will link that video below. So, so I'm going to start off with the lightest color and then I'll work my way up. Um, so the lightest color, I have not tried this. This is called... It's called Sugar Cookie, and it looks like this, okay? And it's a really nice nude, so some nudes really look make me look dead, so let's see how this one will go. So here is Sugar Cookie right here. I really like it. It's a good nude for me, so yay. So the next one I'm going to try is Caramel Apple right here really pretty color it's like reminding me of like very much like fall and cover for the winter time so here is caramel apple it looks gorgeous I love this what do you guys think it looks really good with my eye my eye makeup so next I'm gonna move on to Hottie Toddy. Hottie Toddy. So here is Hottie Toddy. I love it. It is gorgeous. Again, this looks great with my eye makeup. I think that I'm gonna wear this one a lot right on my alley. And these are super comfortable. Matte. Okay. So moving on, my next one will be Candy Cane. Ready? It's a beautiful red. I love red, so let's move on. This is so pretty. This kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D Berlin, which is my old, old favorite liquid lipstick. So let me finish this off. So here is Candy Cane. It is beautiful. I love it. It's so nice for like Christmas time and the holidays and this is just so pretty. I'm obsessed and it tastes delicious. <laughs> so one more look for you guys. I love it. So I just want to say so these four came in a pack. Um, I bought these at Sephora. These are um, the holiday kit. Um, they're super cute. I love them. They feel super comfortable and I love getting mini packs with multiple colors because hello and it's such a good deal. So watch my other video and you'll see like I give more details about the price and stuff in that. Um, yeah, gorgeous. I love it. So next I'm going to move on to these Mellow Cosmetics uh, lipsticks that I bought. I did get a discount on them. I found this company on Instagram. Um, it's an Australian company, so I was excited um, and Here I bought one regular lipstick. It's matte and then all the rest like lipstick and I think one lip gloss So I really really um, I tried two of them the gloss actually three of them the gloss the two the one uh, Liquid lipstick and then the gloss so there's three that I haven't tried and I'm excited to try them I will link my coupon code if you guys want to get 15% off, but no pressure um, And I just love trying new products that look legit and good because you know like people reach out to you on Instagram like you're just like, oh, that sucks. But these liquid lipstick actually looked amazing So I was super excited to try them and I have worn them out and um, they were lasting a while so um, yeah, let me move on to those. So I'm gonna start with this color called Sydney. It's like this really pretty mauve tone color. This is like my go-to color to get. Um, I love mauve tones, so I'm just gonna... Okay, 
These feel super comfortable on. They're very, very lightweight. And so this one's called Sydney. I really like this too. I feel really, really comfortable. I feel like, so the next color I'm gonna try is called Auckland. It's kind of another mauve tone, but it's a little bit darker, a little more like plummy. I really, really like it. So let's check this out. I have not tried this one on at all. It's fresh out of the tube. Okay. It's definitely much deeper. Wow, that is really nice. Auckland, you get two thumbs up from me. So here's Auckland. It is gorgeous for the winter and fall. It's like a really nice neutral color. And I really, really like this. Again, like I said, these are super, super um, comfortable to wear. So I've been enjoying them. I've really only used Sydney. I've been wearing, I was wearing that one a lot, but um, I'm excited to try these colors. Gorgeous. All right, so let me move on. Actually, um, so I'm gonna use the, the gloss. This is called Saint-Tropez. So here is Saint-Tropez. This is a gloss. Um, it's again in like that deeper tone. So here is Saint-Tropez, it's a gloss. I would love to wear this actually on top of um, the last one that I wore, which was Auckland. I feel like these would be a great match. But here it is alone by itself. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels like, it's, it's kind of like just like gliding. You know when you uh, go like this, and then you, like you feel like the stickiness. This does not feel sticky at all. It feels really comfortable and really nice. It has a nice sheen, not over the top, where you feel like comfortable. And it's not like beyond, like it's not like wool gloss, you know when it feels like you have like, you just licked greasy fried chicken. <laughs> it's not like that. It feels really, really, really comfortable. So I'm happy with this. And you could just like here, oh, it's not you can see the glossiness. It's really pretty. Okay. I like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move on to um, the two red colors right here. One is called Mykonos and one is called Paris. Um, and I love red, so this is gonna be exciting. Um, All right, let's move on. So this is Mykonos. I have not tried this, it is super pigmented. It looks really pretty. So here is Mykonos and it looks really, really pretty. Um, I love it. I feel like it's perfect for the summertime, but I would wear, I mean, I love wearing red lipstick any time of the year, so. This is just really nice, like a red-orange. And the funny thing is, I feel like a lot of red-orange lipsticks will bring out like yellowness in your teeth, but this is not. This is like, my teeth are still looking nice and white, if you guys know what I mean. It's like the undertone is usually like, brings out more of like yellowness in your teeth, even if they're like pretty white. Um, but this is not doing that, which I love. So yes, thank you. <laughs> I really like this. So. Now I'm gonna, um, let's move on to the other red. So I'm gonna move on to the color Paris right here and I've not tried this one either. So let's give it a shot. It's super pigmented. Okay, so this is Paris and I really like this. It's like a very nice, um, it has like a the blue undertone, so your teeth are definitely not gonna look yellow with this at all, which I love. 
and it looks like a true red. Really nice. So one thing about red lipstick, I feel like it's so like powerful looking that like, I remember the first time I tried red lipstick, I was so freaked out. I was like, oh my God, I look like a clown. <laughs> but I just love red lipstick. It's so like empowering. I feel like it just makes me feel like I got this. <laughs> I don't know, I just put on, like when I'm having a bad day and I put on red lipstick, it just makes me feel better. So this one is a good one as well. So these were all the Melwell Cosmetic ones, um, the liquid lipsticks, then I'll go on to, um, I'll move on to the, uh, the bullet lipstick, okay? All right, so let's move on to the bullet lipstick. This one's called Posh. Um, I did wear this one once and it's really pretty. Again, it's like that mauve-y, slummy tone. It's like my theme. <laughs> I just love these kind of colors. So, this is like gliding really nicely and smoothly on my lips. This is such a beautiful, like, it's like a nudie color, but it's not just like, you know when you have like that dead looking nude, it's not that dead looking nude. It's like a really nice nude. And it doesn't look as nude on in the tube, I feel like, that it actually is. I don't know, am I wrong? <laughs> but I really, really like this and it feels super comfortable. It's not feeling, um, like it feels really, really soft, not like crusty at all. You know, because certain matte lipsticks are just like so drying, but this feels very, very moisturizing. So this is the only bullet lipstick that I bought, but I'm really liking this color as well. It's a great neutral. So all of these Mellow Cosmetics uh, lipsticks, again, I, I did get a discount on them, but I did buy them with my own money. Um, and I was excited to try them because I saw like I was stalking their Instagram and looking at a million swatches. I feel like swatches on your hand are not the same as when you see it on somebody's lips and a lot of times i'll see like lips like people's videos and stuff but they're not my skin tone so i get like thrown off <laughs> so i feel like if you have like my type of skin tone this might help you you know really see it put it in perspective so that's why i really wanted to do this too because especially because it's not like you could go to a store and buy these you have to order it online and kind of like trust that you'll like the color just by the swatches so I feel like maybe if you see it on me and you could compare it better and see maybe if you'll like some of the colors that I use alrighty so I'm gonna move on to my other three lipsticks I'm gonna save the best for last so I have um, the Pat McGrath lipstick in a more it's a pink one then I have this Burberry lipstick, which I got for $6.97 at Nordstrom Rack. And then I'm gonna save the best for last, which is Gucci. All right, moving on. So here is the color Amour. This was also in my Sephora haul video. Um, and it is gorgeous. Look at this pink. Woo it is so pretty, so I'm excited to try this. It's, it's, did not try this. It is brand spanking new. So, uh, it, it's totally like gliding on my lips. Oh my god, this feels so creamy. Holy moly. For a matte lipstick, and this color is divine. So, story about this color. I've been on a hunt to find a dupe for this Victoria's Secret lipstick that I was obsessed with. It was called, I think it was called Breathe. And they discontinued it. And I've been on a hunt to find a dupe and I feel like this is pretty darn close to that. It's not exact, but it's like it's cousin and I'll take it. Maybe it's sister even. So this is gorgeous. It really, it is so creamy. For a matte lipstick, it just feels like I feel like there's like, there's so much moisture on my lips for a matte lipstick, which is amazing. And it's pretty pigmented. I am loving it. Winner. I've been waiting to try this. So 
This is super exciting. All right, so moving on to this Burberry lipstick. It is number 117, it says classic red. Look at this beauty. And I only got it for like $7, what? Okay, let's try this. So this is definitely super moisturizing. I feel like it's not super matte. It's more of like a cream, for sure. It's definitely like a creamy color. I usually don't buy these, but I am, as long as it's not shiny, I'm okay with it. And this is not shiny, because that just gives me like that tacky red look that I hate. So this is good. I, I like it. My first impression is pretty good, and especially for $7. I'll take it. <laughs> so, um, this making my teeth look nice as well. So, last but not least, this one also was on my Sephora haul video. This is the Gucci lipstick. Look at this freaking color. It is gorgeous. I'm excited. I have not tried this. So, let's try it. Okay. I've never tried any Gucci lipstick. This is really exciting. Oh my god, it's really, really moisturizing. This is such a creamy, creamy matte. Here it is. Ooh. And this color is called the Painted Veil. There is a very, very little scent to this for sure. It's not super strong because I hate super strong scents. If it did have a super strong scent, I would have. I cannot keep this, but it. It's a faint, faint um, scent, but there is, there is a scent to this. But what do you guys think? I personally love this. This is right up my alley. And it is super moisturizing. This and the Pat McGrath, I mean, I have not personally, um, these two, I have not personally had a matte lipstick that felt so moisturizing on my lips. Um, so this is a really nice color, I'm obsessed. <laughs> there you go, so that was my haul, my lipstick haul. Um, again, I am one to, lo I love liquid lipsticks, I love matte lipsticks, that's like my go-to thing. I rarely ever buy glosses. I have dabbled into like the Patrick Ta, you know, the creamy, more creamy lipsticks, but like these mauve tones are like my go-to colors. Um, and then reds, of course. But this color is giving me life. Um, I feel like the easiest way to, you know, change your look is just to buy a new lipstick and like your whole look can change. So um, I feel like sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone. Um, I used to be one who would just only wear nude lipsticks for like a very long time. And once I tried on that MAC Russian Red, that was it. And then I went, like, I will wear literally every color out there, minus, like, maybe black or blue. But other than that, I wear all lipstick colors because it's just so, it just changes your whole look. It makes you feel happy. And, like, you could just add a pop of color to your lips and just, you know, um, just change it up. I feel like... Once you start dabbling into different colors, you're gonna be so pleasantly surprised and you're gonna be like, why did I keep wearing the same color and I was missing out on all of this great potential, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I know it sucks right now because we can't, you know, we have to wear our mask, but I still wear my lipstick out. And my husband will be like, why are you wearing lipstick? I'm like, you know what? It makes me feel good. <laughs> it makes me feel good, A. B, it makes me look put together and like, you know, sometimes you go out and you take your mask off to eat. So, hello, like, I don't want to be bare lip. <laughs> and so I feel like matte lipsticks work best for that reason as well. And I don't care if no one else can see my lipstick. If I can see it and it makes me feel good, that's all that matters. So, um, if you guys enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one.